Hey everybody, it's Zach Grant uh, from New Tutora. I want to do one qu more quick video. I got a, I got an email the other day uh, from uh, Joyfully Growing in Grace. Um, I guess Wendy is her name. Uh, she wanted me to uh, link her response to one of my previous videos uh, below that video. And so we were talking about the word forever and what it means. And I'm uh, submitting to you that forever, when the Father says forever, he means forever. Uh, there is an exception. When he says uh forever sometimes it doesn't mean forever uh, the difference is you must learn the Hebrew and Christians today like Wendy at joyfully growing in grace uh, her blog do not read the Hebrew there is a difference between Olam and Ad Olam Ad Olam means there is a limit to Olam means there is no limit it means forever uh, guess which word the father used for his feast days to be celebrated uh, it's Olam, not Adolam, Olam, and it does mean forever. Adolam is what Wendy, bless her heart, bless her little heart, is being confused with. She's being confused with Adolam. She's not paying attention to that Aleph Dalit, the little letters Aleph Dalit before the Olam uh, is spelled out in the Hebrew. And so, bless her little heart, she is confused, and she thinks that these things are not meant to be celebrated. They're to be celebrated until Yeshua comes back. Well, that's very interesting, since we see Yeshua was celebrating and keeping the feast days. And we see after his resurrection, the disciples were celebrating and keeping these feast days. Uh, forever means forever. In fact, he says, throughout all your generations. And if we use, just say, I think it was it 20 years uh, as a generation, there's only been 80 generations from the time of Moses to Yeshua, to our Messiah. So were we only to keep it for 80 generations? That doesn't make sense to me. Uh, he meant all generations. He says right there, all generations. Uh, all your generations, forever throughout your generations. Uh, it doesn't make, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense that they would stop at any time soon. Uh, the other times in Scripture where you see forever, uh, most times you see olam, but there are times when you see ad olam, and Wendy's getting confused by that. So no, Wendy, I'm not linking your video uh, to your video to my video as a response because your response, number one, you didn't even speak in it. You just put text on there. I can read. I've already read your response. I don't need to read it somewhere else. Uh, make a video for crying out loud. I will buy you a webcam. I will purchase it myself with my own money, and I will get you a webcam. And, uh, and if you need one and a microphone, uh, usually the webcams nowadays come with microphones. And I mean, come on, have some screen presence. If you're going to reply to one of my videos, do so with a face to face thing. Maybe we can even get on Google Plus and Google Talk and, and talk that way and record it. It goes right up to YouTube. I won't edit it or put any graphics in it. It'll be just you and me talking, and we can, you know, get to the bottom of this and, and see what it says because I think you're ignoring some key elements here uh, in the Hebrew. Uh, you don't see Adolam in the feast days ever, and that's why you see the disciples over and over again in the New Testament keeping the feast days, making reference to the feast days because they're still important and they're keeping them forever, just like the Torah instructs us to do. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks.